you know, charcuterie. This is a fun and popular option when you're entertaining guests. And this whole idea, it originated in France. You're familiar with these uh, charcuterie boards. You usually see a mix of, you know, cured meats or maybe some cheeses, some pâtés. Well, now there is a new Vancouver-based business that specializes in indigenous-inspired, handcrafted charcuterie boxes. And we're going to show you those today because Trevor Jansen and Marina Leclerc are with us. They own Tonchi Charcuterie. Now, it's so great to have you in studio Yay. because you've had a chance to talk on the radio. So we wanted to take a closer look at, at these boxes. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Where did this whole idea come from? How did you get to charcuterie boxes? Well, like all great ideas, Marina had this idea while she was <laughs> in the shower. Okay. Tell us about this eureka moment. Well, I was in the shower and doing my moment of zen, contemplating life, contemplating what I wanted to do next after COVID came to an end. Oh, or, okay. So this, this is the COVID pivot. Or it was the just thing, like yeah. It's okay. like, you know, we lost our jobs and we had to, like, reinvent ourselves to a degree but uh, we had a lot of time on our hands yeah we a lot of thought about what we wanted to do next and we wanted to uh build our own business make our family proud and reconnect with our heritage i see well let's start, talk about your own experience with the charcuterie boards i mean you have you put them together yourself or entertaining prior to the business that kind of thing oh absolutely prior to covid our house was a real like uh, community center point for our circle of friends and our community you know, always having great conversations over food, and we just lost so many connections over COVID. And part of this was just to bring that back. Right. Mm. No, there is something about that sort of communal feel yeah. when, you, when everybody gathers around the charcuterie board. I'm always picking, picking, picking. Okay, so tell me about Tanshi. Tanshi, what does that mean? Uh, Tanshi means hello in Michif, which is the language of the Métis. Um, it, actually, Marina came up with this uh, uh, name while she was chatting with her father. Her father was teaching her a few things in uh, Michif. Yeah. And uh, while they were talking on the phone and we were considering this idea, uh, I just happened to be at the computer and typed in tanchi.com. Yes. And that's where the name of the, of, the, of the company came from. Another moment, another moment. Okay, you know what I want to do? I want to dive into, do. One yeah, these, just, into one of these. So oh let's yeah, just so talk about what are, what are when we're talking indigenous, like, okay, this would be the, you get this, undo it. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, it's kind of like a gift already, isn't it? It's very already, so. it is a very popular gift. So you don't even have to do all the work yourself. You've done all the cutting and all the preparation and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, the handcrafting is there. So the first thing to notice then is that what fell out here is a little QR code. Okay. Uh, that is it explains everything. People can scan this with their phone, and it explains everything uh, okay. in the board and how okay. to enjoy it. You are my QR code today, okay? I will happily be your QR <laughs> code today. You're, you're so, going to take the me best. through here. Okay, it's beautiful. You've got a lot in here. So where mm. do you want to start? Well, have you ever tried a pickled milkweed pod? Do you like pickles? I love pickles. Okay, well, a pickled milkweed pod is very much like a gherkin with uh, the same sweet pickled flavor, but none of the crunch. And so it's best enjoyed in one bite, otherwise you'll wear the other half of it. And okay. it's just one flavor explosion. Where so is that? That is this, this one. right here. Let's pull this out Oh, that's you. beautiful. It looks like a big caper or something like that. Sort of, yeah. Okay, can I try that? One bite. One, one, one bite, please. Mmm. Well, that's a nice flavor. And again, with uh, the charcuterie that sort of cuts into the fattiness of it or with a pate. Very something. much like a, a palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's a bit of a acquired taste. It's mm -hmm. my, my father's favorite. I love that. No, I love that. Where else would you want to go? Uh, the next thing I think we should try. Let's, let's look. One of our favorite things that the, our customers share with us is the different ways they combine the flavors. So what I would suggest to you then is let's bust out a piece of the, the bannock here for you. And bannock. I'll pull out bannock. the cedar that. jelly here. Mm. The cedar jelly. Oh, I love that. This is super and let's get okay. a little piece of brie on there as well. How do you make cedar well. jelly? Oh, we don't make it. We 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 source it from out yeah. east. Okay. All right, there's a little, I'd love to know dollop how to make on it. there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you don't you don't have like the kitchen going. No. You guys are you're you're the the assemblers. Yeah. Is that how that so. works? Yeah, we yeah. so we we curate this. So, uh, you know, mm. uh, uh, yeah. Mm. That is lovely and fresh. Isn't it? It's like grounding. Mhm. Mm it's like you're in a forest. Like for, for, it's like, <laughs> it's like forest you're in a forest. In I mouth. see the forest. I feel yeah. the trees. Oh, oh, I love it. I no, love it. No, it is. It's really, so and it's kind of got a freshness to a lightness and a freshness. I really like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cedar jelly. Cedar jelly. And, and where do you source? Where do you get these? Uh, those are from out east. The uh, uh, milkweed pods are common throughout Manitoba and Ontario, mm -hmm. and we have a supplier uh, in Ontario who supplies us with those. Beautiful. Okay, so you just get everything. You get to put it all together. You get mm. the fun part. Absolutely. Don't you? Okay. Absolutely. What, are the, what else pairs with what? So one of the really interesting things is like you know there's different kinds of salmon. So here in the m very middle here we have Atlantic peppered salmon, and okay. that's a very soft, uh, uh, almost creamy kind mm. of salmon. Just grab grab a piece out of there. There'll be a little spoon here. Okay. And you scoop a piece out of there. 
And that, in contrast with what's right beside it, is the coho salmon, which is um, a maple smoked, and it's almost like a chewy candy kind of salmon. Right. This is more of a savory, fluffy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is beautiful, right? though. I know, I'm gonna, I didn't, I didn't yeah. take it from the spoon here, so I'm not double yeah. dipping. Oh, it's okay. There's that, that's key. This is yours to enjoy. <laughs> this one is... So this is the maple smoked mm -hmm. salmon. A okay. little bit more chewy, but mm -hmm. a di completely different taste to it. So would you put that with, what, what's under this one Anything now? you want. So this is, uh, this is one of my favorites, the choke cherry jelly. Let's mm -hmm. grab a piece of bannock again. And okay, some, napkin. Some if you of insist. On there. Thank you very much. Thank, you're taking care of me, yeah. aren't you? Do you do this for fun? Like, do you just hang out at the house and just say, oh, well, absolutely. how else can we put other combinations oh, can we do here? Oh, when friends come over, I'm always in the kitchen. I'm like, I've, I've got a nickname called the Snack Master. The uh, Snack Master. Oh. <laughs> the snack, <laughs> snack Master? Snack Master. The Snack Master yeah, is what you they call a, me. I think you have a new name now. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Okay, now what's what's your connection to some of these some of these dishes in terms of your own background? Well, mom and dad made this growing up. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know, how do you answer that? Just it's really like connecting with our roots and creating conversations over food. That's our, that's our connection to this. So what kinds of conversations has this started in terms of reaction from your customers? Well, some of the best feedback, other than how delicious it is, is that these boxes... I was going to say, the choke chair, I didn't even react to that. This is really lovely, too. It, it's one of my favorites. But yeah, the, it's one of the best feedbacks that we've gotten, aside from how delicious everything is, is that these boxes are conversation starters. Mm -hmm. People open up about their own Indigenous heritage or their connection to Indigenous people or places. And uh, we just love to hear that. I love to hear that too. So where can people find you? Uh, we're available only online for delivery at tonshi.com. Tonshi.com, where it all started in the shower. Right. With that idea, right? Thank you. The QR code was very good. You did a great job explaining. Thank you very I'm much. I'm going to have a little bit more, okay? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Mm. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love the bannock.